So I am guessing the fact you've clicked on this video is that you're worried about your productivity level and you want to become more productive. Well, you're in the right place. My name's Sam and over the course of the last year, I've been trying to improve on my productivity so I can become more efficient in my work, leaving me with more time to do the things that I enjoy. So let's get straight into this video and start with Kiwi number one. Keyway number one is to create a to-do list. When you want to do something and it's in writing, it makes it a lot easier for you to do. When you get out of bed in the morning, by your bed there is a journal with a list of what you need to do in that day. You're 10 times more likely to actually get these things done because you've created a purpose. But this has to start the night before, before you go to bed. So something that my dad taught me was the rule of six, six, six. Write down the six most important things that you want to get completed for the next day and place it by your side before you go to bed. I would recommend doing this in a journal and I'll explain why later in the video. When you wake up the next day, read the list and believe you me, it'll be a lot easier to carry out those tasks. Tasks. Because like I said before, you have a purpose. More importantly, when writing down your to-do list, try to create a real one and don't overwhelm yourself. Just take it one step at a time. Keyway number two, setting goals. So you already have a to-do list and now it's time to start creating small, realistic goals. Goals that are achievable, goals that will not overwhelm you. Set goals that would not drive you crazy whilst trying to complete. Small goals first, then bigger goals later. Now, I'm not telling you to not have a large goal in mind, but if the end goal is, for example, to write a book, your small goal would be to say write 10 pages today. Keyway number three, one goal at a time. Trying to achieve all the goals you set at once will just drive you to depression when the attempt fails. And yes, the attempt will fail. You cannot achieve all your goals for the day at the same time, unless of course you are Superman. And if you are Superman, please comment below because it'd be an absolute honor to reply back. But on a serious note, give yourself a break and deal with your goals one step at a time. Dedicate your time to focus on achieving one goal first to get the result required, then move on to the next. Focus, follow one course until complete. Keyway number four, identify your pattern. You may have unconsciously over your life created a routine or pattern for yourself. Maybe it's waking up, taking a run, going through your phone and then beginning your day. Whatever your pattern is, watch yourself closely and identify this pattern. Find out what you spend most of your time on. If it's not productive, switch it up and move and change the pattern so it aligns with your current goals. I personally find myself a lot of the time browsing through my Instagram feed, which is totally unproductive, I know. To counter this, last week I actually deleted the app for one week. And yes, it was hard, but upon reinstalling this week, I situated the app on the last page of the phone's home screen. It was out of sight, out of mind. I still am going to use Instagram on a daily basis, I'm just going to try not to use it as much. Just doing something as small as this, you will drastically see improvements to your productivity. With that in mind, using your phone is a massive distraction which will affect your positivity. Positivity? Productivity. Try downloading an app which tracks the apps that you use most on a daily basis. If you're like me, you'd be so shocked at how long you actually spend on your phone every single day. Moving on, key tip number five. Review your progress. So how do you know how well you are doing? How do you know how well you're doing with the goals that you've set? It's simple, you need to create a progress report. Go through the to-do list that you wrote in keyway number one. Then go through the goals that you set and tick the ones that you achieved and highlight the ones which you failed at. Remember, failure is not a bad thing. You've got to understand why you failed at achieving those goals. I'd suggest each month or even week giving yourself a quick review to analyze the goals that you've set in your journal. Let's move on, keyway number six. Keep a steady growth pace. Finding out that you're achieving your goals can be exciting and might just tempt you to rush on to other things. You don't have to rush things, just be steady at whatever growth level you're on and don't push yourself to get the results too much just because you've seen a little bit of success. Yes, I'm saying work hard and keep that momentum flowing, but work smart. Otherwise you'll become overwhelmed and most likely again become unproductive. 
So now that we have gone through those six key ways to improve your productivity, it's left for you to decide just how you are going to be productive this year. Always keep in mind that being productive relies on your efficiency. You have a choice to either stay watching this year pass you by with a speed that you just can't keep up with, or you can decide to catch up with it and beat time at its own game. You have to get rid of procrastination and always remember that growth is more dependent on you than it is on the people around you. So learn to grow at your own pace and keep it steady and be completely focused on your goals. Remember what we said in tip number three, focus on one course until complete. With that being said, I hope you have a really productive rest of the day, week, month and year. Comment below if there is any ways that you keep productive. I really would like to know what you think. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more self-improvement videos and I will see you in the next video. Stay productive.